Okay, hello and welcome. It's a video tutorial for the Yi 4K camera. Uh, the first thing we want to do to set this up, Yi camera has uh, two profiles. So you want to go to the color tab. So then you have Yi color and then flat. So for this tutorial, we want to do, we want to shoot our footage in flat. Alright, so let's have a look and dive right into the tutorial. This is what we will accomplish in this tutorial. Okay, so here we are. Let's get right into it. This is called Director 4. It has two ways to bring in your footage. You can do it from here or you can click on File on the left hand corner here. And you can bring in your footage that way too. So let's click on here, find our footage. Okay, so this is the one we want right here. Now open. Okay, so there it is. So the first thing you want to do is you either want to hit the plus sign on here to add it to the storyboard down here, or you can just, just drag it down and now it's part of your storyboard and you can begin adjusting so what you want to do is you want to go to adjustments and then that opens up this box here which has a bunch of presets and you can just browse through some of these and you might like the looks Obviously, it's previewing up here, so not here. So you could just add one of these and adjust it and be done. Or, like I like to do, I like to do my own. So what you want to do is you're going to go up here to Manual. Okay, now it opens up this dialog box up here. It has a histogram. It's a white balance. Tone. HDR effect. You got your curves, sharpness, noise reduction, color sliders for hue, saturation, lightness, highlights, color replacements. I'm not going to get into all these, just the basics. So, what I like to do. So I like to start off by doing the color temperature. So you can do two ways. You can use the slider. So you can see if you go to the left, it makes it really blue. Go to the right, it makes it very orange. So you can either use that slider and get some fine details, or you can just click on the picker, which is here. And now what you want to do is you drag it to a point, for instance, in this station, the walls are white. So you can just find a spot that's white, and you click on it, and it'll do an automatic adjustment for you. Now sometimes it's pretty good, sometimes it's not. So in this case, to my eyes, it looks a bit warm and brown so we want to go up here maybe click on here and I think that looks a lot better the next what I like to do is go to the tone and uh, this slider here is your exposure so you bring it this way obviously it's too much exposure I also like to look at my histogram also and see where all these peaks are at usually try to get everything in the middle so for this one I think I'm gonna leave it like right around there alright now contrast if you go all the way this way it brings out all your dark tones So I like contrast but not that much so we're going to do maybe like 64. 
somewhere around there. Okay, let's bring it down. And here we have a little bit more fine detail. Now you can use the slider so you can do this incremental arrows. If you go here, bring it up by one or negative one. So you can do some really fine detailing here. Or you can just use the slider. Now here is the brightest. This is for all your white color that's peaking. You can bring it up, bring that up even more, or you can bring it down. It's all a matter of taste. Now here are your subtle whites. This is bright. This is just a subtle, minute detailing here. Now here's mid tone, and your mid tone. If you bring it down this way. It makes everything gray. If you bring it up this way, it blows everything out. So usually for the, or I should say for this particular footage, I'll kind of leave it right around that point right there. Now here your dark. Again, this is subtle differences. So this is in your, in your shadows mainly. Very subtle. I like to leave it right at 16 and then your darkest or your deep shadows if you bring it down that way it makes it really dark if you bring it up here it brightens up all the shadows making it a lot lighter for this particular footage uh, I want to leave it maybe right around 11 I'll go up here here we got clarity Clarity affects a little bit of your sharpness and the, de the fine details. So you don't want to go too crazy on that. You should just go to five. Your vibrance, vibrance and colors, depending how far you want to take it. If you go that way, it's a very HDR kind of effect. So you should don't bring that up too much. So it's just very subtle. I would say maybe around there. Saturation. Now, I'm not going to mess with that one because there's really just more blue and white in this uh, footage. So I'm not really going to mess with that. I usually don't do anything with HDR effects or edge. Okay, so here now you got curves. If you pick a point on this diagram up here these are your darks so usually what I like to do with this curve now this is called the RGB channel so this is red green and blue channel so these are all the channels and you're just grabbing that curve up here and the darkest points of all those channels and you're just bringing them up and I take the middle part and just bring it down just slightly very slightly right there so I'm creating somewhat of an S curve but a very minute one and these are all your lights the lights I'm gonna bring down just a little bit oh, there okay so let's go to the next one now here are all your individual channels so you got red green and blue now normally, if you just want to mess with this one, the RGB, that'll take care of pretty much the entire spectrum. But if you want to get some fine detail, say if you had a lot of red, you can mess with the reds. See if you bring all, all the way up, see how red, all the reds in the footage comes up. Or if you bring it down, it takes it away. So this is just for fine details. Just gonna mess with it just a little bit, although it's really not necessary in this footage. But if you mess with one, it will affect the bottom ones as well. So if you had a lot of green and red, it will affect both both of those colors. So let's bring that up there. And go to the blue. And they've definitely got a lot of blue in here, so I just want to bring up a little bit of the contrast. Or the dark parts of the blue 
just a little bit. It's a matter of taste. You don't have to do this. Um, but I'm just showing you for reference. Now let's go down. <clears throat> There's a f more fine details here. This is the hue on these sliders will affect each individual color. Very subtle. I usually don't mess with this too much. So that's the hue. Here's the saturation. So if you wanted to take out, for instance, there's a lot of blue in here. So if you brought that down, see, it takes away all the blue. Or you can increase it. Makes it way too blue. So I usually don't mess with this. This is a really fine tuning. Depends how much control you want of your footage and what you the look you're going for. You can tweak all these however you want. Okay, so on this tab, I have sharpness. Very subtle on this tab. You also have noise reduction. So if you shot at night and you want to reduce noise, you can go up here. Although, if you go too far, it becomes very blurry and smoothed out. So I usually don't. If I do, noise reduction is very subtle. For this particular footage, I'm going to leave it at zero. Okay, so another thing you can do is if you want to preview everything you've done so far you can go up here and you can have a comparison open up so here on the left hand side we have the original footage the flat profile and on this side is all the adjustments that we have done so far All right. so if you're happy with all this you can go to the preset tab and you can save the preset so if you have similar footage you can just click on here and it would save all your settings for this particular session now I'm not going to save this one okay so one all, once all your adjustments are done you're ready to export the file you can export it to PowerDirector and do some more manipulation if you wanted to. You can save the project if you want to continue on it at a later time, but if you're happy with it, you just go and I'll put it the way it is. Uh, usually, I have multiple footages, so I take them into Power director and do some more adjusting and uh, editing okay so that's it so we're gonna have a look at this footage plus we're gonna have some extra clips that I did so you can see what you can do with a flat profile now I know there's, there's a lot of different programs out there a lot of people use Premiere and I haven't seen one done for Color Director as of yet, so I hope that you find this useful. And uh, let's go on to the the final results and take a look at what we got. Okay, guys, here are some more uh, clips. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you found it useful, leave a comment and uh, let me know what programs you use to do color correction and grading again if you want to subscribe to the channel that'll help me out uh, as I plan on doing some more tutorials on this little camera thanks again and I hope to hear from you bye